Okay, so I wanted to just go over some ruck defense stuff. Um, so just to be clear, uh, this is the ruck. So we've got a roll ball here. Uh, the reds are attacking, uh, greens are defending. Um, so sometimes we do not defend the ruck well enough, so we don't number up properly. So immediately here you should see that there is an issue. Uh, we've got three defending here, so this is one. So defender one is number three. It's uh, defending um, attacker one, two on two, three on three, four on four, five on five, which looks fine. However, it means that our sweeper dude isn't actually defending anyone. So normally they should be taking the last person. So if they come in here, then we've got more defenders than we do attackers on this side, which means that there's space somewhere else. So if we put him back there, we've got these all guys lined up. We can see that actually there's a big gap in behind the ruck here. Um, and that's a real problem because what that means is that in this space, we have four attackers and in the same channel. So if we actually look at all of this, we've got four attackers here and three defenders. So it's a four on three immediately. So even before that roll ball has been played, we're fucked as defenders. The easiest way to to attack this is three will take the ball over here two will just split right and it's immediately a three on two so two will probably come over here that ball goes into there and now it's a 2v1 so to to stop this from happening we need to have someone in behind here so right in behind our marker what we also sometimes do as a mistake is that we have our winger come in here. Now, now exactly the same thing can happen here. You've got no one marking this winger. So again, in this space, you've got four attackers and three defenders. Uh, or even if you just look at this space, it's a three on two. This is super, super bad. And exactly the same thing can happen where three can scoop and then it's a three on two, easy hands, bang, bang, bang. Uh, they call that like a reload or a bounce play. Um, people have different things, they have different names for it. Um, but it's really effective if you see that they're not marking the, the ruck well enough. Alex, swing it! Last! So the way to actually set up for this is the wingers on the winger, three steps in as ruck defender, four is on one, five is on two, six is on three, seven is on there. And the sweeper should be able to be covering the box here, but also be able to get here to defend the winger. Okay, this is how you defend, because if anything happens here, you've got the same number of attackers in the same number of defenders. That's how you number up properly. The other really, really important um, element of it, of this is that number three, the ruck defender, has to be told. So you can be really helpful as a link or a winger, potentially the winger. The winger can see, you know, literally if they're looking, they can see all of this and all of this. They can see everything on the pitch. Whereas, you know, this person may be only able to see this much of the pitch. Okay. So it's really important for our winger to be shouting out. All you need to do is number up. You just look at, look at the ruck, look at the wing, look at number one, who's number one, and you go, right, number three, your ruck defender. So then the ruck defender goes, yeah, I'm ruck defender, and then has to tell the marker which way to go. So the reason why this is important is that sometimes we get caught out both going open side. So let's say number three scoops and runs into here, okay? What sometimes happens is you get two chasing and three chasing over here. So if they continue there and they're coming in to make that tag, and that ball goes inside, you've now got a 2v1. So it's really, really, really important that the ruck defender tells the marker which way they've got to go. And it's not to do with the space. It's to do with the, the player that they're marking. So ruck defender says either you, you can only say you can't go, go wrong. You cannot go wrong here. You either say right or left. You don't say back. You don't say forward. You don't say, you know, back and left or whatever, you just say right or left because it's not the space you're defending, it's the player that is attacking here. So let's say um, 
player three tells uh, the marker to go right. Okay, so they're right, so they're going this way. So this marker now knows that it's going to be defending whichever of these two players goes the most right. So let's say three scoops here and takes the ball with him. Um, because three has told two to go right, two will defend here and three will defend the most left player, which is here. Okay, so you're all numbered up perfectly uh, here. Same again, let's say three says right again. Says two, you go right. He's looking to go right. Marker, let's say marker scoops this way. Okay. Now the person who is on the most most right side of two is two. So two must stay on two and let three, must trust three to come in and take here. And look, there's no space. And it's exactly the same the other way around. So if three tells two to go left and marker goes out this way, Two needs to stay on the leftmost person to them, which is this guy. Three takes here. Four is taking four. Five on five. It's really, really important that every single time there's a tag, every single time there's a tag, a ruck defender is identified, and the ruck defender has to tell the marker to go either left or right every single time without fail. If you don't, if you don't tell the marker which way to go, you end up having this situation where three and two will both over chase and then you've got a potential 2v1 in the, in the wing. The other mistake that we sometimes make um, is the marker over chasing. So let's say rug defender tells uh, marker to go right, so in this direction. Uh, so that means that the, rocker, uh, the marker should only mark the most right player of these two. What sometimes happens is that they forget that and mark the space. So let's say three passes it to four. Let's say four gets it here. Because Ruck Defender has told marker to go right, sometimes what happens is the marker will get excited and start chasing. Okay, so what you, what's happened here is you've now got two defenders, four and two, defending the same player. So if these guys just realign here, actually here what you've got is if that ball comes back you've now potentially got a 3v3v2 and then that's you know easy to execute well it's not easy but yeah that's a potential try scoring opportunity <laughs> oh, it's so important that if that ball comes out to here this person is saying, my ball, my ball, I've got, I've got. Here, you two will say, if you've said right, you just step here and you'll take whoever comes right. So let's say that this person switches over, then you're now defending like this. These these guys come up. Easy peasy. And then this person has nowhere to go, passes. Now this is the on-ball defender and they go, my ball, I've got, I've got, I've got. Easy, everyone's staying completely aligned if these guys start moving around you just get back into line and you're always looking at your defender always know who you've got as this comes up boop, easy boop, easy and then up there and one should at this point start going around